Hello, good morning, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth, and in today's video, if you can't tell by my outfit, we're still at Disney! Disney Vlogs, let's go! I'm so excited. Today is a little bit of a chill day before a really fun evening um, at Epcot. So today, what I want to do is get ready here shortly. I'm meeting Crystal and her boys to go to Topolino's for breakfast. So let me show you my outfit really quick. So I got these on Etsy. They're like old um, Festival of the Arts ears. And I was so excited to find them because they're perfect for Topolino's. All the characters are in like artsy outfits. Like one's a poet, one's an artist. So um, I also got this shirt which is Mickey painting Walt, which I love, and then just simple black shorts. And I think I'm actually gonna put flip flops on, even though I know that is probably not, that's probably not a good idea for my support, but I, I like want my feet to breathe. So I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the flip flops. We're not doing too much walking, so I think I'll be okay. But that is the game plan right now. Um, let's meet Crystal and take the Skyliner over to Riviera. Oh, yeah, baby. We are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, home to a collection of tropical villages inspired by the colorful architecture and lifestyle of the Caribbean islands. Hello. Hi. I think everybody's in it. We're at the Riviera. So as you walk under here, there are these like beautiful mosaics. So this one's a Peter Pan vibe. But then over here, we have another one. And this one is Tangled Vibes. Oh look, you can peep the Riviera through there. Oh, it's such a beautiful hotel. But here is the Tangled Vibes. So pretty. Oh, this resort is such a vibe. I can't wait one day to stay here. It's just so peaceful and beautiful. We're That's waiting. Beer. Look at this. Is not beer. <laughs> this is very nice wine. We're so excited to go in. It is for me. They've been here before. <laughs> Love that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. <laughs> Pog mimosa time. How fun. Breakfast was stunning, but what's even more stunning is this view. Let me turn you around, you guys. So we came out on the balcony. It is so, you can see everything. Let me show you. All right, so this is Caribbean Beach, is what we're seeing like in the, right here. This is, look at this, Riviera. I wanna stay here so badly. We see the Skyliner going back, like over there is Pop, you can actually kind of see the bowling balls of Pop. Let me see if I can zoom you in. So you can kind of see bowling balls for Pop in the distant future, distant future in the distance. And then Art of Animation, keep going this way. We see Galaxy's Edge over there. Tower of Terror. Swan and Dolphin. Oh my god, this is so cool. And then I'll take you over here in a second. Alright, so we have some pool and some more Riviera stuff here. And then in the distance over here, we can kind of see the tops of some buildings over in Epcot. So, we're not too far. But this is such an awesome view, y'all. 
such a lovely resort and restaurant. You guys, the food was absolutely phenomenal. But now back to Pop. I love the artwork in this in this building. We're walking to the main lobby here before we head to the Skyliner. But you're gonna have a lot of artwork and stuff of Walt with his travels throughout Europe because that is what this resort is inspired by. I have had a drink or two sitting in this lounge. Love it. And then this is actually the main lobby. So it's it's not as like quote unquote grand, I guess I would say, as other lobbies, but very sophisticated, if you will. Okay, I am in bathing suit vibes. We are going down to have a little bit of pool time. Not a ton, but probably, I mean, we probably have like four hours, three or four hours to just kind of chill out front. So I'm gonna bring my resort refillable mug. I'm in my bathing suit. I also just took 30 minutes to go film a little bit for, I wanna do like a video on Pop Century. So I filmed just a little bit of the main areas. I'm not gonna do like a full walkthrough video, I've decided. I just didn't wanna devote like a whole two hours to doing that when this is still my vacation time. So one day, when I'm here more, hint, hint, it will happen one day, I will be here more. <laughs> More is not the right word, but permanently. Uh, um, one day when that happens, then I will be able to do more of those videos of like taking the whole day to just film a specific video. But I wanna enjoy my vacation. So I am headed down to the pool area to hang out with Crystal and her boys and just kind of relax. I think I've said it a couple times, but breakfast was so good at Topolino's and it's a really good value for a dining plan credit. So super happy we did that. Um, but I'm going to head down, fill up my mug and have a relaxing couple of hours. So uh, I'll probably shoot a little bit of B-roll of the, of the day. So I'll insert that now. Little snack moment here by the pool. This is expensive though. <laughs> this drink alone was like 20 bucks, but that's okay. We're having fun. Pool day. Okay. We are back in the room. Uh, had a lovely couple of hours and just kind of chilling at the pool, got a little snack. Um, I am a little bit hungry. Uh, we still have some time. So tonight we're going to Epcot after hours. However, before that begins, we can actually get in at seven. I could get in earlier with my annual pass, but I'm with Crystal and her boys and her boys don't have a pass. So we're going in at seven. And at that time, um, we have until 10 before the actual after hours starts. So up until then, we're just going to kind of go around World Showcase, get some food, maybe hop in a ride line if it's really short. So that part of the video will still be in this vlog. So I can kind of still take you through until like 930 or so with this video. And then I am going to do a separate video just all about Epcot After Hours. So stay tuned. That'll be coming shortly. Um, but right now my plan, it is, I don't even know what time it is. It's almost four. So I have two hours in this room. I'm going to chill for a little bit, but I also have to pack because I'm actually leaving this hotel room tomorrow morning. And... I'm not gonna get back to this hotel room till like 1.30 or so, maybe even later. So I wanna just take care of packing now and get that out of the way. So I, I think I feel well enough to do that right now and then I'll lay down for an hour after I'm done with that. So I'm packing everything up, not to leave Disney World, but to go to a different resort. I'm doing a split stay. So as soon as I am, um, uh, well, I'll talk about that probably in tomorrow's vlog, but we are moving to Wilderness Lodge tomorrow, so I'm super excited. Had three nights here at Pop, and then I'll have three nights at Wilderness Lodge. It's crazy, though, that this Disney portion of the trip is almost halfway over, but we can't think like that. I feel like it just only begun. Most of my park time and like real fun activities that I have planned is still coming up in the future. So I'm excited for tonight to take you into Epcot. Um, so, but I'll, I'll see you in a couple hours once I pack and take a little chill time. Hello, we are going downstairs. Time just escaped me. So packing, no, that did not happen. <laughs> 
Um, it's 6.15, I'm meeting up with Crystal and her boys, and then we are off to Epcot to have uh, some time before after hours begin. So like I said, that part will still be in this vlog. I did bring my festival passport so we can take a look at what food we want to get. It's happening. We're in Epcot, walking around before the party starts. Uh, I know we want to do some food booths. I think we are at some point, but right now the I think the priority is some food booths. All right, I really want to try the ramen cup, so that is our vibe right now. All right, we got our ramen cup from the booth right here in the pan. And I think what you're supposed to do is shake it up, so I'll let you know how it is. A funnel cake is also a great use of a credit. It's $10, and that's a snack credit. That's a really good use. But I also wanted to point out, we have the, uh, we have the Eat to the Beat concert series happening. I love the live entertainment here for the festivals. Okay, this was really good. Did you try some? Did you like it? No, I didn't try it. No, it was really good. Crystal and her boys are at Regal Eagle right now getting a quick service meal. And since I'm here, I decided to try a side of the mac and cheese for five bucks. I'm not using a snack credit though, because that would not be a good use of the credit. So I want, I've never actually eaten here, so I'm excited to try that. And then we'll be back out to World Showcase, because I have two more snack credits to use. I'd like to at least use one of them here today, and then maybe save one for Magic Kingdom tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. Do you want any of this? <laughs> Get up in here. <laughs> Crystal's dinner. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Yeah. So, what do we think of uh, Regal Eagle? Delicious. Really good. Worth it. <clears throat> it's an excellent use of your credit. Oh, the dining the credit. Dining. Yep. You like your burger, right? Yeah. The chicken was tender. It wasn't dry. Looks are deceiving. <laughs> It was mainly for me. <laughs> so everybody enjoyed. I enjoyed my mac and cheese. Oh, I think everybody enjoyed it. So, um, also, I called that before Eat to the Beat. That's the other festival. It's Garden Rocks, the concert, right? It's the Garden Concert. Is That's food and wine. Yeah. So, we are just kind of strolling World Showcase. Oh, I want to get... Oh, I see Grand Fiesta Tour. I want to get something like in the Germany, the little caramel situation, even to go, even if we don't eat it right now. So we're just meandering. We'll see where the next hour or so takes us before the party begins. So other than the food, the main thing for this festival is that you're going to see these really, really cool topiaries all throughout the different countries and even up in the front. Over here is one of my favorites. We'll go take a closer look. Yeah, we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Yeah, these are really pretty. And we'll find them all throughout the whole park, too. All right, we're going to do a little Grand Fiesta Tour moment. Should only be a five minute wait, so that'll be good. This is such a beautiful pavilion because it's all inside. I live for it, especially in the summer with like air conditioning vibes. Oh yes, I love it. There is also a nice restaurant right in here, San Andalin, and you can kind of look over the ride, which is cool. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I needed more food. Whoops, a daisy. Little tamale moment. 
Oh, you guys say that. And a flan. I love this for me. <laughs> Alright, a quick little shopping moment. We love that for us. So the fireworks kind of just started. So I probably won't watch the whole thing tonight because the point of this is to start getting in lines for after hours. But since we're right here, I might as well watch as much as I can. A nice little treat. I didn't think I was going to be able to uh, watch those at all tonight, so I'm happy I was able to catch some of it. It's a newer show, so I've actually never seen it before. Um, but I am now moving and grooving because After Hours is about to start, so that will be a separate video. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget that if you are um, watching this and would like to plan your own Disney vacation, I am a travel agent, so I would love to help you plan. Just let me know, send me a message, and we will make the magic. Um, if you want to watch more of my videos, hit that subscribe button, and remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.